Welcome to episode 4 of my Emulating Messi series and today I've holidayed it to the end of the third season so we're in June 2015 now but before we get cracking on the players I just want to show you something I am speechless How have England won the World Cup? 3-0 in the final as well against Portugal Two goals from Defoe and a cleverly goal Oh, I can't believe it how have England won the World Cup? Mental. Yeah, and Roy Hodgson was in charge, so imagine that. It'd probably be Sir Roy Hodgson. Crazy. Then he retired, and England now have Roberto Mancini in charge. So some of our players may be under the control of him in the England team at some point in the future. Anyway, back to the players. None of our players took part in the 2014 World Cup. But we'll go down the list, as always. We're starting with our Icelandic keeper, who still plays for this Icelandic team and has no contract, but still plays there and still looks amazing and has 18 under-21 caps. Surely a team is going to come in for him at some point. Now, remember last video I said he'd only played four games in 2014. That's because their season starts different. So he eventually ended up playing... 23 games, conceding 33, 6.99 average rating. So far this season, he's played 6 games and conceded 8. Not the best start to the season, but he may improve. Next up is our Swedish keeper, Brogdanovic. Um, still playing for Malmo. And now has 11 under 21 caps. Not playing many games though, he played 6 last season and... 2015 so far he's played five and conceded four 7.08 average rating hopefully he's going to get a bit more game time in the coming seasons but he's already at a very big team in sweden so he is basically just in the reserves i'm guessing yeah playing some reserve games not many though next up is phil sam who's still playing for barnsley and has one under 21 cap for england Played a lot of games in League One, 43 in fact, one goal, four assists and 6.73 average rating. Let's see where they finished. They won the division, so they're back in the championship. So if Phil Sam sticks with them, he'll be playing championship football once again. Dionis Emini, our Albanian right back, who has the most caps for his country out of anyone so far, 17 already, age 19 now. And has moved from Hadrick to AC Ajaccio in League One in France. And has 34, played 34 games last season. One assist, 6.66 average rating. Not the best. But playing a lot of games. Playing a lot of games for Albania too. And is improving. Harry Croft, still at Burnley. Has 9 under 21 caps for England. Coming along nicely. Looks to be improving. I can't rem well, obviously I can't really remember what his attributes were like last season, but he's playing a lot of games. Forty three last season, ten assists, very impressive from him, and six point five eight average rating. Not great though. He appears to be playing all of his games on the right hand side of midfield rather than at right back, which is probably why he's getting more assists. Although his best game, seven point ten. Um, when he played at right back, so maybe they should play him there. And we have Jack Morgan, still at Charlton, 7 under 21 caps for England, and had a very good season, 45 games, 12 assists, 7.11 average rating, two, um, 2 yellow cards, 5 men of the matches, playing very well. And this is the championship table, West Ham won, Burnley also went up, so Harry Croft is that his name? Wait, what one's which? Yeah, Harry Croft, I think, will play in the Premiership next season. Charlton did get relegated, despite Jack Morgan having a very good season. I don't know where he's playing, mainly. Left midfield. So maybe he'll move, or maybe he'll stick in League One with Charlton. Next we have Teg, still at Ipswich Town, earning more money once again. His wages keep going up. Um... But still a pretty poor season. Playing a lot of games, 44, and quite a few assists with 9. Um, but his average racing really is quite poor every single season. I don't know where they're playing him. 
They're mainly playing him central midfield this season. And he doesn't play well there. When he played right back, he got 8.2. So maybe they should consider playing him at right back in the future. Sam Sutton, still at Arsenal. Coming along nicely. His value, 2.3 million. And actually played quite a few games. 21 games in total. 3 assists. 6.41 average rating. That is pretty poor. But at least he's playing in the Premiership at a young age. And hopefully the, the game time will help him improve. I don't know about England caps. He's got 9 for under 21 caps now. Connor Err has now got 13 caps for Scotland. Um, he's played a lot of times for them. And he's moved to Middlesbrough for uh, on a free. So I'm guessing his contract ran out. Um, he's just moved now, actually. So this, se uh, yeah, this season just gone. He played 41 times for Motherwell. 10 assists, 5 man of the matches, 7.41 average rating, very impressive. And has moved to Premier League team Middlesbrough, who did survive. This is the Premiership table. Leeds Fulham and QPR went down. Aaron Dobson has 7 caps for Ireland now. A lot of people getting caps for Scotland and Ireland, and other countries as well, of course. Um... And he's still at Dundee United. Played 37 times last season. One goal, two assists, 6.54 average rating. Not the best. Let's see where Dundee United finished. Finished fourth. And Motherwell finished third. Next up is Marin Milikovic, our Croatian midfielder, who is still at Zagreb. Has 12 under 21 caps for Croatia last season. Played 35 times, five goals, 13 assists. Very impressive. And 7.344 average rating. James Harris, our David Alaba-like type player, has one, still only got one cap for Austria, and 19 under-21 caps and one goal. Um, but he has gone on loan to AZ in uh, Holland from Bayern Munich, who still own him. But he played a lot of games for uh, in the Dutch league. 26 games, one goal, two assists, and 7.2628 average rating. But the thing is, with him being Austrian and also a left back, although maybe he's playing left midfield more, oh, it doesn't say. But yeah, the problem is, is obviously David Alaba, who's at Man United on this game, so he may have to play in a different position or just wait. They might end up with two very good left sided um, midfielders slash left back. At some point. James Spence is still at Ipswich. And in 10k a week. And he really is playing very well. 49 games. 2 goals. 10 assists. 11 man of the matches. A lot of yellows though. But 7.43 average rating. He's been probably the most consistent. Out of the championship players. By quite a long way. Every single season. Playing very well. On the right hand side. He's playing right back. So he's actually playing there instead of Tom, and also right midfield, but I would say they should probably play him a bit further up, if I'm honest, um, because of his attacking attributes. It's just strange how he's not getting in the under-21 team when he's been the best player. He's really highly sought after, and value-wise, 4.2 million, one of the highest out of these players, if not the highest. Next up is Daniel Hubner, a Polish midfielder, 9 under-21 caps of Poland, and still playing for Slask, Played a lot more games this season. 38, one goal, one ma um, two men of the matches, one assist, and a 6.81 average rating. Can't tell if his stats, his attributes are going up, but I'm guessing they are gradually. Next we have Ryan Leahy, the Irishman who plays for St. Mirren. Has 14 under 21 caps for Ireland. And this season played 31 games for St. Mirren. One assist and a 6.7 average rating. Pretty average. But... We'll have to see if he develops in any way. Then there's me, who still plays for Rangers. Still got no caps for England, probably because I'm playing at a lower level than most people. Obviously, now in the first division of Scotland. And once again, won the table by quite a bit of a distance. Quite comfortably. And I played pretty well as usual. 31 games, a few less this time. 9 goals, 3 assists. And 7.4 average rating. It's pretty much stayed the same the whole way through, average rating wise. 
But I'll be in the Scottish Premier next season, unless I leave, of course, and we'll have to see how I cope at the top level in Scotland. And we have David Riley, who has two caps for Scotland and is still at Chelsea. Um, played six games in the end of this season, not many, but played quite a few non-competitive games. Very poor average rating of 6.33, but I guess he just has to hope that the Chelsea coaching staff help him improve and become a better player. Our Singaporean Joburg Chan has now got nine caps for Singapore and is still at DPMM in Singapore. And last season, in the end, played 27 games, three goals, eight assists, 6.96 average rating. And so far this season, 13 games, two goals, and a 6.88 average rating. Heibo Wang has now got more caps for South Korea, eight in total. Coming along nicely at Seoul, he stay, actually stayed at a club for more than one season. And last season, in the end, played 38 games, two goals, eight assists, 6.94 average rating, played very well. And so far this season, 21 games, one goal, four assists, 6.83 average rating. That seems to be improving. And, well, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see if he decides to move to a big team in Europe at some point. Berzanovic has played more games for Montenegro now. He's played seven in total. And he's still at Inter Zabrisic. Um, he's played 37 games this season, a lot more than last season. Five goals, two assists, 7.11 average rating. Coming along nicely. Nearly at the end, four more to go. We've got Matt Anderson, the Slovakian, 19 under 21 appearances and three goals. And he's still at Salzburg. Didn't play many games, though. In the end last season, he played 17. This season, he played 8. I don't know if their season's finished yet. Yes, I think so. They finished second in the end. Work the space. Our giant Indian has now scored four times for India in 10 caps and is actually moving to Hoffenheim soon, so that's a big move for him from Partizan. Already playing for a decent team, to be fair. Uh, played 25 times, 8 goals, 4 assists, and a 7.01 average rating. Done pretty well. Um, in Serbia, he has helped them to, well, look at that domination from Partizan, really, over the years. Then we have Zach Edwards, the striker that hasn't been able to score. But is that about to change? We shall find out in a second. He's managed to get 221 caps for England. And has indeed improved. 15 goals in League One. Well, 10 goals in League One plus 5 cup games. Uh, so, yeah, much improvement from him. And he'll be playing in the Championship again next season as Barnsley got promoted. 6.97 average rating. He's improving, which is good to see. And lastly, Sheridan Sparks, who has now scored twice for the under-21s in 11 games. But still strange how... Derby aren't really using him much. He played 12 times this season. One goal. 6.66 average rating. I don't know why they're not playing him. I think it would be really beneficial to them if they did play him. Because he looks really good. So there we go. Our top valued player is James Spence. 4.2 million. Then James Harris. David Riley. So there's a few players over the 1 million mark now. Contract wise, James Harris is earning the most. And then it's James Spence. Um, surely someone's going to come in for him because he's really playing very well for Ipswich. Average rating-wise, it was James Spence top, then it was me. Goals-wise, Zach Edwards, then me. And appearances-wise, James Spence, he's, oh, he's had the best season out of anyone. Really has destroyed everyone. <laughs> International-wise, you can see Dennis Emine is top. And it's kind of uh, and work the space. The only person to have scored a full international goal is work the space. Youth appearances, Matt Anderson's at the top there of lots and goals wise. It's work the spaces again. So, how many people? Most people have youth caps. There's only four of us that don't, including me. But we'll have to see. At the end of the fourth season, how everyone has improved and impressed, hopefully. There's not really any highlights to show as yet. When there's cup finals and big international games, we can see some of the goals that people have scored. But at the moment, everyone's still developing. Everyone's only 19. 
so not much is going on at the moment but anyway thank you for watching this video please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I shall see you in the next episode